at the heart of every poem lies the confection to save souls. Daughters of St. Paul 100 Years of Foundation The Church Speaks, an episode where the Holy Father, the Pope, and the Bishops of the Philippines speaks about their apostolic letters and exhortations to all Catholic Christians. Today, the Pope chose this year as a year of mercy and compassion, while the Catholic Bishops of the Philippines, CBCP, chose this year as a year of the family, and the Eucharist as part of the program and the preparation for the celebration of the 500 years of faith in the Philippines. Mga iksuon ko diya kang Kristo, maayong buntag ka na itong tanan. Padayon ta sa Bakisgot, kabahe sa sulat sa atong mahal nga Santo Papa Francisco sa Lamor, Amores Letizia. Tato kayo alang kang San Pablo nga ang gugma dili lamang emosyon. Feeling, dili ka na feeling lang. Sabtong kayo kiniisip sama sa mga Hebruhanon nga pulong nga mao ang aksyon nga muhigugma nga nagpasabot sa paghimo sa maayo to do good matod babitaw ni San Ignatius ang gugma ipakita sa buhat kaysa pulong usa adunay bunga nga makita og muhatag sa mga nahatagan sa kaayo sa pagmaya o kalipay sa pagka manggihatagon adunay pagkahari anon og dalaygon nga makabuhat sa ingon bisan kung walay ganti nga madawat tungod ang buhat sa kaayo na mismo Makahatag sa kalipay o pag-alagan. Mga ang gugma, mapailubon o pasinsyoso. Dagang salamat, may buntag sa tanan, and may God bless us all. This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo O. Santiago, Stu and Nancy Santiago, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montañez and Family, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II, College of Davao, Fel Yamido and Family, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Abrilie, T. Lino Trucking Services, iCrafter Optical Incorporated, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Protasho Takandong, Shardan, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Perita Lorenzo and Family, Attorney and Mrs. Ellie Britannia and Family, Ampi Ecasas and Family, Davo Bote Junk Shop, Director Clara Aurelio and Family, Dove Sales Incorporated, Tess Valenzuela, Quillens Food House, Great Wall Trading, Davo Diamond Industrial Supply, Rudy and Jean Sobiaco, and Anonymous. Offering of the Holy Mass, Accept Most Holy Trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the Divine Word and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, donors, offers, and volunteers of the Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring group, Civil Service Commission, Regional Office 11, officials and employees, 
headed by the Regional Director Annabel B. Rosel, with the special participation of Barangay Agdao proper constituents headed by the Puno Barangay Rodolfo Cagatin. Thanksgiving intentions of Dr. Carlos Tan and family, Saturnina Ibero and Evelyn Iparagire. Thanksgiving birthday intentions of Dr. Jean Bejano. Good health and harmonious family relations, Teresita R. Villabrilie, Reynaldo and Gloria Maria Coronel, Jose Reynaldo and Ana Victoria Coronel, Christian Lorenzo and Rose Fatima Grace Coronel, Casrica Gloria Maria D. Coronel, Freddy and Grace Ramirez, and Emil Nathaniel L. Ramirez. Recovery and healing of Jermin Chu, Rudolfo Estera, Emil Sison, Manuel Sem, Dr. Alvin Garduque, Ernie Evangelista, Nancy Villa Carlos, and Dr. and Mrs. Pedro San Jose. For the eternal repose of Cassiana, Felicidad, Flor de Rica, Carlos, Adela, Felicitas, Emmanuel Sr., Jose, Isidorico, Luciana, Milagros, Elpidio, and all benefactors of the Pauline's RTV programs. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and Almighty, through your grace, you gave us strength and help in our weakness. In your mercy, touch your sick people. Deliver them in their sicknesses and restore them good health, so that, assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning. Just like Moses in the first reading, Jesus teaches us clearly that we are to continue praying until we receive the answer. Praying again and again is not a sign of weak faith, but a persistent faith. Traditional Catholic culture passed on by our parents teaches us to wait in God's time and to kneel down in perseverance. We understand that patience, perseverance, and discipline entail hard work. Waiting for the Lord's perfect time is a sacrifice. It is in the active waiting process that we can truly grow in our faith in God. The presider of this Eucharistic celebration is Father Danny Montagna, RCJ Rugationist Father. The choir during the Mass is the Legion of Mary Choir, Davao City. Come. Let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please stand as we sing the entrance hymn. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The outstretched hands of Moses during the Israelites' battle against the Amalekites assure Israel's victory. This story illustrates to us the power of prayer. The first reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, Amalek came and waged war against Israel. Moses, therefore, said to Joshua, Pick out certain men, and tomorrow go out and engage Amalek in battle. I will be standing on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him. He engaged Amalek in battle. After Moses had climbed to the top of the hill with Aaron and Hur. As long as Moses kept his hands raised up, Israel had the better of the fight. But when he let his hands rest, Amalek had the better of the fight. Moses' hands, however, grew tired. So they put a rock in place for him to sit on. Meanwhile, Aaron and Hur supported his hands, one on one side and one on the other, so that his hands remain steady till sunset. And Joshua mowed down Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our help is from the Lord who made and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains when shall Help come to me. My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is from the Lord who made. Slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumber nor sleep, the guardian of Israel. Our help is from the Lord who made. The Lord is 
is your guardian, the Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from The Apostle Paul asked Timothy and us to remain faithful to the teachings of Christ and to equip ourselves for good work through our recourse to the Scripture. The Second Reading A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, Remain faithful to what you have learned and believed because you know from whom you learned it and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who will judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing in his kingly power, proclaim the word. Be persistent, whether it is convenient or inconvenient. Convince, reprimand, encourage through all patience and teaching. The word of the Lord. From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable about the necessity for them to pray always without becoming weary. He said, There was a judge in a certain town who neither feared God nor respected any human being. And the widow in that town used to come to him and say, 
render a just decision for me against my adversary. For a long time, the judge was unwilling, but eventually he thought, while it is true that I neither fear God nor respect any human being, because his widow keeps bothering me, I shall deliver a just decision for her, lest she finally come and strike me. The Lord said, Pay attention to what the dishonest judge says. Will not God then secure the rights of his chosen ones, who call out to him day and night? Will he be slow to answer them? I tell you, he will see to it that justice is done for them speedily. But when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Peace be with you and good morning. We welcome each other today on the 29th Sunday of the Ordinary Time. And my particular greetings to our brothers and sisters at home who are sick, the elderly, and those who could not come to Mass. To each one of you, peace and the greetings of the Lord. O pakibati po sila, pakisabi na magandang umaga. O pakisabi na sa mga katabi niyo, magandang umaga. Pakisabi sa kanan nyo, ang ganda mo ngayon. <laughs> Parang hindi kayo maniwala. No? <laughs> It's so nice to welcome each other today on this beautiful Sunday. The thought is very simple. The message is very clear. It's all about prayer. And I want to ask you, are you praying? Yes. 24 hours? Yes. <laughs> are you praying for your leaders? 24 hours? No. Paminsan, <laughs> when you remembered. But it's nice. But you know, I have this beautiful experience. I could not forget that one because 1990, I was too young then, when I made my perpetual vows, my retreat master challenged me. Sabi niya, Danny, you want to become a good priest or religious? Sabi niya, be generous to the Lord. Every day, give him a 30-minute in front of the Blessed Sacrament, outside your community schedule. It should be your personal schedule. And then every now and then when I come to him, he would say, as you grow in age, as you grow in the year of your ordination, as well as in your religious life, become and make it longer as well. So sabi ko, what does it mean, Father? Sanya kung 20 years ka na sa priesthood mo, then 20 hours ka in front of the Blessed Sacrament. How old are you? Aha. So depende sa age nyo, ha? kung anong age nyo, ganun dapat daw kayo katagal sa Blessed Sacrament. But what I realized, that prayer led me to a meaningful experience of Him. That's why from that moment, Perpetual Faust, 1992, it was always in my mind. Although sabi nga, my regrets now, when I become too busy running here and there, when I forget to, pr to prayer, I remember the words of Paul would say, you are like just a noise, a clanging cymbals. And that's why it becomes always a challenge, an invitation to kneel down and pray. And this is what the Lord today is telling us. Prayer, and we have to pray. O pakisabi nga sa kanan mo, I pray for you. I pray for you. Parang sa feeling ko, ayaw, parang napilitan lang, I pray for you. Lagyan nyo ng feeling, sing ha, pakilagyan ng feeling. I-touch nyo naman, i-touch nyo naman. O, ganun, di ba? O, dapat ganun, da? kasi feeling ko napilitan lang, kaya, I pray for you. Parang, parang masyadong hilaw, you know? And tonight, these days, we answer the question, why do we pray? When do we pray? And how do we pray? Tatlong bagay lang. That becomes for me my personal reflection as well for this 29th Sunday of the ordinary time. Why pray? I would feel it is the command of the Lord. My conviction is Christ asking us. Christ inviting us. I use the word asking and inviting. We say ask, perhaps it's an obligation. He wants us. Invite, it's still open. It depends on our response. But when the Lord says or invites us to pray, that means He will listen to our prayers. Listen, eh? Hindi ko sinabi, sagutin niya kaagad. Kasi it, 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 it's, it's different when He listens, and definitely He listens. Although at times, you realize na He would not answer soonest. 
because of course he wants to see what's in our heart the intention of the one praying but why pray his command his invitation ang ganda ng sinabi natin sa responsorial sum anong responsorial sum row one very good row two perfect ah square pa lang talaga na memorize on our help comes from the lord you see when we pray he listens he is there and he is all more than willing to give us his help in short when you pray the lord will help you Mas pakisabi sa kanan mo, tutulungan ka ng Diyos. O sa kaliwa, pakisabi, pautangin pa rin kita, no? <laughs> Our help comes from the Lord. And He told Moses, go up in the time mountain and stretch your arms, stretch your arms. Because I will be there standing. It means I will be there listening to you. I'll be there answering your prayer. I'll be there to accept your prayer. Sige nga, how, 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 how many hours can you raise your hands? Oh, mapapagod kayo, no? For beautiful, he invited Moses because he knew that he will never abandon. And so therefore, I would like to put that language, the power of prayer in our life. Kaya nga, when we pray, sabi nila, it's the weakness of God and the strength of every person. But I would put it that long, it is the grace of God and the strength of God in us. So that prayer becomes a necessity as he puts it in the gospel. Pray, pray without becoming weary. There is a necessity in praying. So game, are you praying? Yes. Or are you playing? No. Oh, very good. Praying, eh? why pray? I gave you the reason. When do we pray? First reading and the gospel gave us all the accounts. We pray because Israelites had encountered difficulty. They are in the journey towards the promised land. They were in that mountain where the Amalekites are, the nomads. But when they asked for water, they were assaulted. Nobody can defend them. Their recourses to God. So when you are in difficulty, you pray. When somebody would assault you, you pray. When there is room for hopelessness, you pray. Sabi natin, why? Our help will come from the Lord. Why? The Lord commands us. Why? The Lord invites us. O pakitanong yung kanan mo, anong problema mo? Ipagdasal kita. Sige nga. <laughs> o oh, ayaw niya ipagdasal <laughs> siguro sa civil service yung mga estudyante sana po masa kami no? <laughs> sana po masa kami but you see these are our moments when to pray difficulties in the gospel reading there is a widow who could not obtain justice from a corrupt church but she kept on coming until that this honest judge as the Lord said had rendered her justice as well because he was afraid. And so therefore, she prayed for that. When you have injustices, and when you are suffering from those things, then the Lord invites us to pray. Do you suffer injustice? Parang sa tingin ko mukha, no? From your wife or from your husband? <laughs> See, those are moments. And the Lord invites, perhaps we can add all in your sickness, in our pain, in our struggles, in our difficulties, that the first reading and the gospel would give us major things, difficult things. But of course, we can add, even when you are happy, you pray. Are you praying when you are happy? Yes. Mm, parang wala, no? Parang wala. Although now, you know, when we receive blessing, thank you, Lord. And we offer master. But you see, when to pray when these difficulties would come into our lives and we know that the Lord will never abandon us. But when we pray, He wanted us to put a content. And what is the content? Coming from the Bible as well, as He says, Timothy 3.16, all scriptures is inspired by the Lord. When I studied theology, that's my first lesson. Timothy 2.3.16. Paki ulit. Timothy 2.3.16. Timothy 2.3.16. Very good. Basta ganun, ha? So memorize all scriptures inspired by God. It is sure for, used for teaching, admonition, so on and so forth. Promise you will read your Bible? Yes. 
When you go back home, yes. mm, wala. No? <laughs> Kaya nga sa office, ang ganda niya na. When students would come, you say, all scriptures is inspired by God. O, kaya mo yan. No? Si Captain, siya, ganun gawin niya. Pag may pumunta sa barangay, all scriptures is inspired by God. That's why I can admonish you. I can teach you. O, di ba? I can scold you. These are all the content, perhaps more than just the devotional. When to pray comes with a content because it comes from the heart that is not weary. It comes from a heart that does not stop. Above all, it comes from a heart that has no discouragement of hopelessness. We would like to be always connected to Him. Amen. Amen. In prayer, it's not just a moment. Huh? Every moment. When Moses continued to raise his hands, too hard. That's why they have to put two stones. So, mamayang gabi, lagyan nyo ng unan para lahat ng padasal niya isasagutin. Then, they continued to win. But more than just the winning, as the Old Testament would say, God is fighting for them. The theological message says, amidst and beyond our human capacity, then it's now time to put it in the hands of God. When at times things could not be solved in our human way, then it's up to God to, to solve and to grant our prayers. Amen. Papakisabi sa kaliwa mo, God will grant your prayers. Pero mukhang wala siyang pananampalataya. Hindi siya sasagutin ni Lord. So why pray? And when you pray? When to pray? Okay na tayo doon? But, la uh, but last, how to pray? Paano ba magdasal? Today, the widow gave us the lesson gave us the way of how to pray. How to pray with perseverance. Huh? Perseverance is not just a one moment thing. It's not just today, then I expect that tomorrow or soon as it would be given. That's why at times the Lord wants to see the authenticity of our hearts, the genuineness of our heart. If we are really true to our prayer. In my life, I thank the Lord for in many ways, He would always answer my prayers. In so many ways. Sabi ko, this is God who has given us the promise. Well, he would constantly invite me to persevere in that prayer, persistence or perseverance. What is it? Connection with the Lord should be always and constant. Although ngayon, pag may kailangan, malakas tayo mag-prayer. No? Pag may sakit, malakas tayo mag-prayer. But afterwards, nakakalimot. Kasama din ako minsan doon. Walang excuse. Because it's, it's the human. That's why the widow today is given to us as an example of that faith and prayer and persevering prayer. But think that, who is this widow? Napakaganda ng isang interpreter sa'yo. This widow in St. Luke is the church. The church was left by her spouse, but now continues to wait until he comes again. Diba? We proclaim the death of the Lord until He comes again. That's why the church is always in prayer. The church is always in communion. The church is always awaiting for the Lord. Perhaps you can put it in a more personal. You are that widow as well, waiting for the Lord. A family that waits for the Lord. Ang ganda ng sinasabi ni Father Patrick Payton, di ba? The family that prays together, stays together. The family that goes to Mass together, goes to SM together. No? <laughs> so, but more than some other, God's own way of inviting us how to pray. And therefore, the church is an example to us. So beautiful reality. That's why the church is in constant prayer. The Eucharist, the sacrament, the Bible, all of which are expressions of that waiting for the coming of the Lord. All of us are waiting for the coming of the Lord. Ang pakisabi sa kanan mo, hinihintay ka ni Lord. Ah, hindi. Hintayin mo si Lord, no? <laughs> o sa kaliwa, pakisabi, malapit ka ng kunin ni Lord. No? Kaya nga, that, the rhetoric is will he find faith on earth? Perhaps in a way, here we say yes, because the church is in constant prayer. But we are all members of the church. We are the church, and therefore, we have to pray that when the Lord comes, He will find us waiting. Amen. So, are we praying? Yes. Constantly? Yes. 24 hours? Yes. It should be. Even your sleep could be a prayer. All your works could be a prayer, but it would be also a nice moment to stop in silence to pray that the Lord will grant us the grace we ask for. Like the we do is the church in Luke, let us continue our prayer without ceasing. Continuously raising our hands because we know that God and our help is from Him. 
and this God will never abandon us, we will be victorious. Amidst our discouragement, amidst perhaps what's happening in our world as well as in our nation today, there should be no discouragement, but rather now should be in the hands of the Lord. And when we put things in the hands of the Lord, we are secured. We will not be in trouble. We will be safe. We are at peace because this God will never abandon us. Let us go to the Eucharist. We see Jesus who awaits for us. Let us be men and women in prayer. Let us bring our family to prayer as well and that it will experience the blessing of God. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, he was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was spirit, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended to heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, has spoken for the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. With faith and humility, we bring to the Father our prayers and missionary intentions of the church as we pray. Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. May the Holy Father, Pope Francis, bishops, priests, and mission societies continue to proclaim Christ in every culture and become witnesses of hope and mercy. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May all government officials respect their religious conscience and convictions of their citizens and see the gospel as a force that ennobles and uplifts the dignity of individuals. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May those who suffer from injustice, violation of human rights, and poverty Receive immediate help from those who are in authority. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. May all families treasure the gift of faith through constant celebration of the Eucharist and sacrament of penance. We pray. Lord, hear to your people. For those who have gone ahead of us, especially the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the TV mass production, that God may welcome them in heaven. We pray. Lord, listen to your people. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Heavenly Father, make us feel more urgently the call to work for the salvation of all men and women. We all come to know Jesus, your Son, who is salvation of the world now and forever. Amen. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, Lord, the prayer sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and every word to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Indeed, Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant was poured out and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ began to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Romul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all that have tied in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Hannibal, Saint Anthony, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs that in a life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Our Father is the prayer taught to us by Jesus. With confident in that prayer as well as in Jesus, let us use the prayer as we address the Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, so that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that it should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
body of Christ. 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 Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, we pray that benefiting from participation in heavenly things be helped by what you give in this present age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The daughters of St. Paul are happy to offer you their new book entitled 31 Days to Becoming a Better Religious Educator. This offers encouragement and practical advice to catechists and even priests as religious educators. This is available at the Daughters of St. Paul bookstore located at Bolton Street, Davao City. And this is only 175 pesos. Thank you and have a good day. Our thanksgiving to our barangay from Agdao and to the Civil Service Commission headed by our regional director, Ma'am Annabel, and to each one of you who have participated in this morning's Mass as we pray for our brothers and sisters who are sick and the elderly as well. Promise? Papakisabi nga, I will pray with perseverance. Papakisabi sa kanan mo, I will remember you in my prayer. Sa kaliwa, pakisabi, God will bless you always. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon at ang bawat isa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. So glad you